CentOS 8 has arrived, and along with it, a number of changes have been discovered. One such change is how the installation of the Docker engine and Kubernetes is taken care of. I've already covered the installation of Docker CE on CentOS 8, and now I want to walk you through the process of installing Kubernetes on the same CentOS 8 server. The first thing to be done is the addition of the Kubernetes repository. To do this, open a terminal window on the CentOS 8 server and issue the command sudo nano slash etsy slash yum dot repos dot d slash kubernetes dot repo. In this new file, paste the following contents. Bracket Kubernetes bracket. Name equals Kubernetes. Base URL equals https colon slash slash packages dot cloud dot google dot com slash yum slash repos slash kubernetes dash el seven dash x eighty six underscore sixty four. Enabled equals one. GPG check equals one. Repo underscore GPG check equals one. GPG key equals https colon slash slash packages dot cloud dot google dot com slash yum slash doc slash yum dash key dot gpg https colon slash slash packages dot cloud dot google dot com slash yum slash doc slash rpm dash package dash key dot gpg save and close the file next install the necessary packages with the command sudo dnf install dash y kublet kube adm kube ctl dash dash disable excludes equals kubernetes enable the kubelet daemon with the command sudo system control enable dash dash now kubelet for the next task you must su to the root user once you've done that issue the command nano slash etsy slash sysctl dot d slash kates dot conf in this new file add the following two lines net dot bridge dot bridge dash nf dash call dash ip6 tables equals one net dot bridge dot bridge dash nf dash call dash ip tables equals one save and close the file Reload the configuration with the command syscontrol dash dash system. Exit out of the root user with the command exit. Finally, before you initialize your Kubernetes cluster, you must disable swap. For this, issue the command sudo swap off dash a. To make this permanent, issue the command sudo nano slash etsy slash fs tab. Comment out the line that starts with slash dev slash mapper slash cl dash swap swap. Save and close the file. You can now initialize your Kubernetes cluster and add nodes. Your CentOS 8 Kubernetes server is ready to start deploying. Hey everybody! Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our Tech Republic YouTube channel and be sure to check out more how-to videos at How to Make Tech Work.